Hello vinyl community, music lovers, and anyone else who just happened to stumble upon this video. Welcome to Tone and Grooves. My name is Jeff and this is John. We are going on a record dig road trip today. Father and son. It's father and son team going on a road trip record store dig today. I'm going down to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Visit one of my favorite local record stores, Revival Records. John, is there anything that you are looking for specifically today? Um, no, I'm just trying to get some more CDs. More CDs? Okay. He's doing CDs, I'm doing vinyl. Um, I've been on a classical kick lately, so I might focus on classical, but you know, I'm open to anything, so. Cool. We'll see what we find, and we'll be sure to share those finds with you in just a little bit. That's good stuff. I love Mr. Pibb. <laughs> <laughs> from our record digging road trip experience down in Eau Claire at Revival Records and I say it was a successful trip. Very successful, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So we got some some cool things to to show you. John's gonna go first. He's okay. got some good stuff. Um, we'll start out with this. So this is uh, Beck Sea Change. Um, I've never like listened to the whole thing, so I thought it would be kind of cool to expand my Beck collection. Very cool. I heard like one song from this album a, lot, a while back, and it was really good, but then I forgot which one it was. So <laughs> I guess I'll have to like listen to it. That's cool. See. Very cool. Yeah. You want to show the back? Sure. Awesome. Now you went looking for CDs, and you ended up with vinyl. Yeah, um, <laughs> I got a lot less CDs than I thought I would. I only got one, but okay. 
That's cool. Awesome. Good deal. It's pretty cool. Record. Back C change. Yeah. What and else you got? Then uh, we got glass animals. How to be a human being. Um, awesome. I got the first album. This is their second album that they came out with in 2016, I think. And I got the first one, Zabba, uh, a while back for Record Store Day. Mm -hmm. And I really liked that, and so I decided to get this one. Very cool. And they're like a, they're from the UK, so they and then but they're more of like a alternative sound. Okay. So yeah. Awesome. And then the last one, we got a CD, Starboy by The Weeknd. Uh, this one, I've heard a lot, like, I listen to it all the time, but I just thought it'd be cool to have it on CD. Awesome. So, yeah. Very cool. Nice. Good deal. What would you say your impressions of Revival Records, the store in Eau Claire? I'd say it was, yeah, it was a really cool store. Yeah. Uh, uh, they they kind of had not enough, like, new music for me, I guess. Yes. But that's just me. I don't really listen to, like, older music. Right. I like the newer stuff. But overall, it was a really nice store, and they had like a really cool setup in the back there. They had like the stereo, and like oh yeah, yeah. Then they had like a lot of um, like turntables around. And, right. Like, yeah. 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 I should have taken more video of that, but they do. Uh, Revival Records has, I mean, tons of records and CDs, which you could see from the little bit of video I took. But also, they have. Um, Lots of vintage equipment, you know, turntables, CD players, um, amplifiers, and whatnot. So it was pretty cool. They had like a big, I should take a picture of that or video. Yeah, it yeah, was that, cool. that was, yeah, that was like awesome. Like that big, you know, one of those big old stereo units, like, you know, um, all the components in a, in a rack and the big, big, huge, you know, floor speakers. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, awesome. that was very cool. Awesome. Sure, all right. You want to show you? Yeah, I'll talk about mine. So. Kind of funny that you said they mostly had older music because I got almost <laughs> all old music. So um, I went looking for classical actually because I've been on a classical kick and I ended up with zero classical albums. <laughs> One that's kind of classical, I'll, but it's I'll get to it anyway. Um, this was a fun cheesecake cover here. David Carroll and his orchestra, contrasts on the Mercury Wing label. It's a stereo copy. Um, so the blue Mercury label. Whoop. So that was kind of a nice, nice find. Um, since getting into the stereo, the Mercury stereo classical records, I've kind of been keeping my eye out for, you know, easy listening, lounge, uh, big band, whatnot on the Mercury stereo label. So that was kind of kind of a cool find there. Um, got a number of Bob Crosby and his orchestra. I totally dig Bob Crosby. Um, has a big band, you know, in the 30s and 40s that kind of had a, a more Dixieland sound. Um, so there's Bob Crosby and his orchestra, 1937 to 1940. This is on the Alamic Record Company label. So I believe they do, they they do all of their things in discographical order. So that'll be kind of a cool. Here is uh, Instrumentals, 1940-42. And then we have, this is on the Circle label, Bob Crosby and his orchestra, more 1938. Um, so that is that. And these were in like beautiful, like near mint condition. Really nice condition on those. Cool. And... Lots of jazz. I ended up with lots of jazz, so this is kind of cool. This was, I had never seen this before. It's on the Verve label. This is um, Bill Evans on piano, Shelly Mann on drums, and Eddie Gomez on bass. A Simple Matter of Conviction on Verve. Um, I don't see a date on here, so I'm not sure what year this is. It's a gatefold. And there's the back cover. The music of Bill Evans is lyrical, passionate, completely personal. It's a simple matter of conviction. So, interesting find there for pretty cheap. In really nice condition. I mean, like, beautiful near mint condition. So, that was kind of a fun pickup. Um, what's next? Oh, I was excited to find this. 
because I've been looking for this. I actually look, um, was tempted to buy it online a couple of times and then just been holding out. So, but this is Flora, and I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, Flora Purim or Purim. Hmm. Um, she's a Brazilian jazz vocalist, um, best known for her work with uh, Return to Forever and Chick Corea, um, Stanley Clark. Um, this is her album, Butterfly Dreams. And that is on the Milestone label. You can see if we can get that out. Of course, none of these have been cleaned yet. We just got home a few minutes ago. So it's on the Milestone label in pretty decent shape. Um, good enough. Definitely good enough for the price. So, <laughs> and this is the one that was where I say, you know, I didn't find any classical, but kind of, sort of. This one's sort of classical. I, I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet, obviously, but this was in the classical section. This is um, Jimmy Smith, and the album is Peter and the Wolf. It's on Verve. So it was in the classical section under Prokofiev, um, because it is apparently like a jazz version of Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. So it's a gatefold. There's the back cover. And it is in, oops, it's got the original, original verve sleeve. Beautiful condition, just really nice on the verve label. Huh. Yeah. So looking forward to spinning that. I'm not sure if that's mono or stereo. Looks like it's mono. Hmm. So that's kind of cool. I dig the mono stuff. They they know that. I always talk <laughs> about how I like the mono the mono records. So that's kind of cool. And then last but not least, this is Red Nickels and the Five Pennies at Marineland. So it's straight up Dixieland jazz stuff on an original master recording, Mobile Fidelity. So that's super cool. Yeah, very cool. And it's got one of my favorite all-time, like, old-timey um, songs, Show Me the Way to Go Home. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Red Nichols and His Five Pennies at Marineland on the Mobile Fidelity original master recording. Oh, that's, that is really nice. Look. Yeah, it's cool. Shiny. Very cool, in great condition, like mm -hmm. near, near mint condition. So that was a very nice pickup. That's the end of our finds. It was a very successful road trip. Very successful. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. We got some Culver's for lunch and, oh, we did hit a Goodwill while we were down there and Books A Million. Yeah. Uh, the CD came for Books A Million. Yep. Goodwill didn't yeah. really didn't really turn up <laughs> yeah, anything. I didn't really expect Goodwill to have so, much. But. Yeah. So I was a little disappointing, but uh, anyway. Lots of they had lots of cool CDs, but they were yeah. in bad shape. Yeah. I was checking them. I would you know, and yeah, lots of good movies too. Yeah, but we stuck with the Revival Records. Yeah, if you're ever in Eau Claire, check out Revival Records. Definitely worth stopping in there. Um, great shop, um, really cool stuff, and mm -hmm. a lot of fun. So, mm -hmm. I think that's it. Yep. Until next time, stay in the groove. <laughs>